I have a story to tell you all about the pruning of the three jacaranda trees in my front yard. I got to thinking that they were a little too tall and sprawly, especially the one that sprawls near next to the roof uh, for, for the sake of fire prevention in, in, on the street. And so I hired someone to, to prune two of them down, way down. They're very big trees. And the littlest one, the one uh, to the right-hand side on the street, he decided not to prune it at all because it needed a head start in relation to the other trees to kind of grow up a little compared to them. Anyway, uh, especially on the, the um, jacaranda tree next to the roof of the house, uh, there was some radical pruning to do on the limb that stretched over the house and other limbs as well. It was quite a, quite a huge tree. So, after some tense moments and some expert tree trimming, the job was done. And, uh, and the only thing that remained to be done was to come back with that, that, that machine that grinds up stumps and things and, um, and finish grinding up some of about half of the stumps or maybe a third of the stumps that didn't fit into the, the wagon that the man brought that was hired to do the grinding up on the day of the tree trimming. And that man, was, that contractor, was supposed to come back the next day and finish up, right? That night, the most amazing thing happened. I could not sleep for the first half of the night. Because of a, a pain in my head, I had a pain all over my crown chakra. It's the very top of my head up here, my crown chakra. And it would not go away. And it was not a physical pain, it was a psychic pain. And in addition to this pain, I heard a tree, um, a tree spirit, a, a dryad, or maybe considering how big the tree was, it might have been a deva of the forest. And it was so upset with me, very upset. It kept saying, you don't love me, you don't love me at all. You don't love me more than anything like that. And it went and hid in the uh, forest of a few Canary Island pine trees, giant Canary Island pine trees in the backyard of the person who lives across the street. And it would not come out. It could not be conjoled out. Well, I had a horrible time of it. I was feeling so guilty. And I could not rest. It had been a very difficult day. Um, con being concerned about the trees and being concerned about the spirits of the trees and nature spirits and what would happen in my front yard after that. And then what would happen to happen that night? Well, I really love tree spirits and I really love trees and I just could not come to terms with it. But finally, around 3 a.m. the following morning, I fell asleep for a few hours and then I went out and I promised the trees I would bring them extra water so that they could grow back strong and fine, the two that had been cut, which I've been doing ever since. I've been using gray water from the sink. Um, now, they seem to take heart finally and they're starting to sprout new leaves for the second time. So I think they're going to be all right. But uh, I would say there's still a standoff with the tree spirit. Um, it hasn't been around much, but it's working very hard right now to make the trees come back to full bloom and full leaf for the summer. It makes you wonder what the right thing to do is. In a fire-prone climate, what is the right thing to do with regard to pruning trees in one's yard? Anyway, to continue with the story, it, there's more to it. The first day after the pruning, the man who was supposed to do the scrunching up of the, of the limbs that were in, left in the street did not come back. 
So I called and asked about it. And the next day, at the very end of the day, he came back. But he was standing around with the general contractor in the street and nothing was happening. So finally, I came out and he said that he, the battery of the engine that, that made the engine go on his scrunching machine had stopped unaccountably stopped. It had been working during the day and it got to my place and then it stopped and I immediately thought about the spirit of the tree and that it might be still pretty angry as he was parked near the canary pine trees on the other side of the street. As you may know from reading my prior blogs, I'm not a stranger to dead batteries. Batteries die on me unaccountably all the time, both in my camcorder and in my car, and uh, just Lord knows where else, in my, in my flashlights, especially at times when there are light upgrades. And it looks like at times when the Davis are riled at me as well. <laughs> so I had a new pair of jumper cables in the, my car trunk, and the two men were able to start the, the, the engine after they jumped it and the rest of the job was completed. And that's a story of the ups and downs of trimming trees in Los Angeles. Uh, well, y'all take care. Love you lots, you're the greatest. And you're getting through a tough time right now in good spirits. God bless you all.